Mini Cat Tarot by Rachel Logan. La, 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 la. Uh, hi, hi, hi. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Hello and welcome to Lori Tries Life. This is a channel dedicated towards art, tarot, and family. I think that sums it up. Today, uh, it's been a long time coming in doing a video of a deck. I have been really busy in doing watercolor. Don't tell, but <sighs> cat hairs. Don't tell, but this is part of something I'm doing for my great niece. <laughs> I was going to make this the the um, cover of a little storybook. And every year or whatever, I would add to the story. And this, I'm just going to give her the cover this year because I'm late in, um, in getting this done. Um, it's based on the first little girl named Mavelyn. Of course, it's made up by me, which I still have to make it up. Okay, and this is what we're talking about today is two decks. This is, she goes by Rachel Yu. R-A-C-H-I-L-L-U. So you can find her that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. Dear Lori and Lucky, I hope you love your stuff. Any problems or questions, just give me a call. A review would be awesome. I hope I did a review. Best wishes, Rachel. And there's her um, Etsy shop. But Lucky, if you all know me, you know that my uh, Lucky passed away about three years ago. I was very new at buying decks. I wasn't new to tarot. I had done tarot for years, but I just didn't know there was an internet community and I didn't know that there were so many decks. So I saw this deck and I fell in love. And it taught me that I need to read. And, and I always try to watch a YouTube video of the deck so I know I want it because they're, they can be very pricey. So I always make sure that I know what the deck looks like, I know how big it is, I know what it's made of, and this lovely deck taught me that, okay? Because I just said, oh, these are beautiful cards, and I bought them. So when I got them in the mail, um, I, I bought, which I am so sorry, we've moved and stuff are still in boxes, but I'll try to find the... Um, tarot cloth. I bought the cloth too. It was really neat. But, uh, and she wrapped it so beautifully. She's a sweetheart and a very talented woman. So it came with lots of little goodies and, um, and here they are. And it's a, such a cute deck. The only problem is it's not really shuffleable. It's made of, um, Originally, I thought it was cardboard, but I think it's watercolor paper or a, a really a, a real thickness to it. And, um, you know, you can shuffle it in various ways. Uh, but the traditional shuffle is not possible, at least for me. But they're cute. I love them. Okay, so I was going through tarot decks not long ago, and I saw this, and I was, oh, yes, I love that deck, but, you know, you can't shuffle it. Well, she's made it into a different size, made with different material, and here we go. I am famous for ripping decks. I've only ripped one with my box cutter, but you only have to do it once to really be known for that, you know? So let's see what what it is. Let's see. Oh, washi tape. She's got washi tape made of her art. That is so cool. I, I want to keep all these things. And for the most part, I do keep all the little things. All right. Okay. 
my husband bought this for me. Dear James, thank you for supporting my wee shop. It means a lot. I hope you love your stuff. If you have any questions or problems, please get in touch and I'll be glad to help. I love a review. Best wishes, Rachel. Okay. Oh, little stickers. This out. Okay, so we don't have any inner plastic, which I love. Plastic is just all too much. Okay, so let's see. It's a little bit different. This is the old one. This is the new one. So she's got um, Mini Cat Tarot 78 card divination deck. So it's a really sturdy box. Oh, we've got a we've got a little book. Oh, that's too cute. Mini Cat Tarot. Oh, that is too awesome. So she gives a hand drawn it looks like I mean it could be a font it's so cute and she gives a really like a one-liner I love this I love it and oh wow okay it's a limited edition I hope my little cat serve you well on your adventures in tarot deck number 2688 I guess that doesn't necessarily mean it's limited. I don't I don't know for sure. But that tends to make me think that she made a certain amount. So we've got uh, just a little thing of paper. Sorry about the shaking there. So here we go. Oh, we've done some revisions to the back, and it is bigger. This is the old cardboard style or watercolor paper feel, and that is the difference. So to me, this is a bigger deck. You see that? This is a bigger deck, but it's still a mini. As you can see, it's wider and shorter. So here we go. Don't forget to follow her on Facebook, Instagram, all those goodies. So there it is. It is definitely a coated, really good stock. It's shuffleable. I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. So I hope you can see that. Okay, we got the fool. He's <laughs> showing us his little. How many times has your cat done that? Put his butt in your face. That's a cat move. Magician. The high priestess. Empress. Look at that emperor. That looks like a main goon. A hierophant. Hierophant. Hier when I get on camera, I totally screw that word up. The lovers. I love saying that word. Chariot. Look at this. Strength. Oh, he's got a dog. The Hermit. Okay, so it appears to be the same art. I'm not going to compare every card because I just want to get into this. Justice. Hanged Man. Death. Temperance, the Devil, Tower. He's going to land on all fours. The Star, the Moon, Sun, 
judgment and the world it's got a little bit of a sheen just a little bit this is really nice really nice just a little bit different backs really nice we've got the king first queen of wands knight page and we've got a little bit of a traditional rws it's pretty traditionally rws so nobody is going to have a hard time reading it if you know that system look how much she can fit in in these tiny cards it's just so much and then we're going into cups I like that Ten of Cups. Nine. Eight, seven, six. Five. Got the swords. Here is squeaky. Sorry about that. Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> like his tail is the blindfold. <clears throat> Ten, nine of pentacles. Oh, eight of pentacles. I left that. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, <clears throat> let's see how it feels. Let's see, is it, can we get a, could it possibly be, we could possibly get a, uh, if you do reversals, you could possibly get a sideways card. <laughs> what would a sideways card be, I wonder? Okay. Oh, they're really good at bending. Oh, wow. This is a really shuffleable deck. She made up for it tenfold, I'm telling you. Look at that. You're like a perfect shuffle. Let's do three shuffles. That was a good shuffle. That made me feel good. If I can't shuffle a deck, that's really a deal breaker. Nah, not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker, but it definitely hurts in my eyes because it, it's just a almost a religious thing for me to shuffle a deck. And <laughs> I did get a sideways card. Okay, so... Okay, you know it's upside down. You know it's a reversed card if the brown kitty is on the bottom. So we are going to use that method. The three of pentacles. I like it. Oh, 
Five of Swords reversed, and the Magician. Let's take a look at the cute little book. Okay, so we have Three of Pentacles. They have the minors by um, number. So the threes are all on one page. This is a collaboration. I was thinking the five of swords is self-sabotage, but it's reversed. And the magician possesses a collection of resources that provides all he needs to act on his ideas and bring them into existence. So, there's a collaboration and an opportunity to manifest what you want. Isn't this perfect? There's a collaboration. You have the opportunity, the means, the, whether you think you do or not, you have all that it takes to make this come to fruition. But what do you do? You self-sabotage. I do that all the time. And that that comes into self-care. If you're um, not doing a lot of self-care, which I'm very guilty of. So please remember that when you're undergoing something like, just say for Christmas, you know, don't sabotage your own um, passion, your own creativity. And I do that a lot. You need to get that inner conversation of, I'm not good enough, um, maybe an imposter syndrome, especially YouTube creators. I know they go through that. I go through that. Just, we're just doing the best we can, right? Okay? So do the best you can. Show up. That is the big thing. Sometimes um, people with chronic illnesses, such as myself, I have a hard time um, with uh, being able to show up and guilt from not being able to show up. So I don't know. This just gives me thoughts of to um, don't be so hard on yourself. Get out of deck. Feel good about it. And just give yourself a break. So this is the Mini Cat Zero, my second edition. And uh, the first edition I would not part with. It taught me great lessons. And no matter how great the artist is, know what you're buying. And uh, know if you're able to afford it too. Because that's a mistake I make. So... That's all. I'm glad to come back on here and say hi to y'all and wish you a very happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Whatever you do, please take care of each other and yourself. And until next time, this is Lori with Lori Tries Life. Bye.